Welcome along to your Monday, your special Eclipse Monday. I'm meteorologist Richard Nunn with the Eclipse forecast here for today. Unfortunately, it's partly cloudy skies that will continue to build up for the afternoon, and it's during the prime viewing time, about 2.45ish, 2.47 here locally, where we'll see the showers and those clouds moving in. And the tune's about a 50-50 shot here. The better chances are going to take you to the beaches. I'll cover that here in just a moment. Your forecast for today starts off fairly warm and humid. We'll see those daytime highs coming up shy of our seasonal norms because of the eclipse coming through where we would normally heat up. Instead, we'll have the shadow that will hold our temperatures mainly in those upper 80s. Now let's get back to the chance for the showers here. On the beaches this morning, those will continue to push inland and then the southeasterly flow picks up. So the beaches actually will see a reduced chance for showers and storms as we get closer to that peak timeline. So the morning showers will start to fade away. Then during the afternoon, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock during the viewing timeline, is where we'll see those showers and storms mainly affecting the inland areas west of I-95 and continuing to progress inland. If you're in southeast Georgia and you're watching the eclipse, coastal zones there for the Golden Isles, and then well inland, Ware County and closer to I-75 should also offer a nice viewing experience. Continuing on through the work week forecast, just in time for, well, midweek, things start to dry out, but it will dampen back up again. A nor'easter-like environment starts to fill in for Friday and that takes us into the beginning of the weekend. That's your special eclipse forecast on Alexa and letting your fingers do the clicking at newsforjacks.com.